Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way to the Spirit Caller's Cave. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. All I really did was I put on the spirit jellyfish ashes. That's going to be a little handy later on. And I went ahead and put on some rainbow stones. That's also going to be handy a little later on as well. And that's all I did. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to sit at this grace. We're going to talk to Melina. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. I know I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin. But it must be done to reach the path beyond. And that is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother. But now, I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that. Not even you. Okay, now that we've talked to Melina, what we're going to do is we're going to put a marker right over here. And then we're going to come all the way down this road and put a marker right there. We're going to be heading to get another map fragment so that we can have all of the mountaintops of the giants opened up. We're just going to be heading northeast. Once we get to the top here, we're going to light ourselves a grace. That way it will be easier to fast travel back over here. Go ahead and light that grace. Over there is a bird's eye view telescope. So if you want to use that to get a layout of the map or the region, you can. And then over here, we're going to head southeast, but we want to hug the cliff side here because there's going to be a dragon that spawns in. Right there is a cave that we're going to be going into a little later. So as soon as you see the fog and mist start rolling in, that's when you want to be careful. The dragon's right there. Now just head southeast. Do not stop. Come down this path. And then we're going to veer off to the right. Head west. There's going to be a spirit spring just here. Going to use that to get up. We're not worried about the ever jail. Be careful of the dog over there. You don't want to grab its attention.
We're going to light that grace. And then we're going to run straight through here. And then go across this chain. Be careful not to fall off. Then let's hop off Torrent. Light this grace. And grab the map fragment. So now we have all of the map opened for the mountaintops of the giants. Let's go ahead and go over to the freezing lake. Okay, we're going to open up our map. We're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second one is going to be right over here. Our third one is going to be over here. We're going to be fighting one more invasion for the volcano manor. Our fourth one's going to be right over here. And then lastly, our fifth one will be up here. So this first one's going to be pretty obnoxious. We have to lure an iron golem over to one of the breakable statues. And it can be a little tricky to do that. stay right out of reach just keep luring them This is what I mean by it is extremely obnoxious. Okay, he finally broke it. Grab our three smithing stone sevens and then just run right past him. Grab a golden seed. We shouldn't need any more golden seeds, by the way. We should be maxed out. We have 14 flasks all together, 12 crimson, and then two ceruleans. My personal opinion, I think we should have got 15 instead of 14. But that's just me. Just gonna head down this path, head into the third marker now. And then we're gonna run straight to this invasion because there is quite a few enemies over here fighting. We get the Haslow's Oath for invading him.
He is fast. Be very careful. So for killing him, we get Haslow's Pedal Whip along with the Haslow's Armor Set. I'm going to come over here, grab the Traveling Maiden Set. Just grabbing some items real quick. And then right over here to the south is a spirit spring. We're going to use it. We're going to come over here to a merchant. Here's someone there. Customer? Well, how long has it been? So right here, the merchant has two important items. Number one is the Missionary's Cookbook 7. And then number two is the three Stone Sword Keys. You can buy any of this stuff if you want. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll get that stuff off screen as always. Now we're going to backtrack just a little bit here. Careful of the bats. Probably kill the one that's right here. Sister, where did you go? So right here is where we want to pull out our jellyfish friend. You promise me when we turn 14, we go to see the stars. We get the fancy spin for doing that, and it also gets rid of the fog wall that's down here. Let's go ahead and open up this door, get ourselves a talisman. This talisman is okay. It'll boost your FP, but it'll also take down your HP, so kind of like a double-edged sword. Let's go ahead and take off our jellyfish friend here. And then we're going to go to our map and we're going to put down a couple of markers. Our first marker is going to be right over here. Our second marker is going to be right over here. And then our third marker is going to be over here. Our fourth marker is going to be way down here. And then lastly, our fifth marker is going to be right over there. Top on Torrent, we're going to go through this archway, get ourselves some freezing grease right over here, and then we're going to head southwest. We're going to follow this path to the left.
Right over here, we get a somber smithing stone nine. Really good grab. And then right here, get ourselves a golden rune tin. Run past all these demi humans. And then take the path to the left. Jump up top here. Get on this tree branch. Grab ourselves a rune arc. And then right down here, I like to take these two demi humans out. That way, I don't have to deal with them with fighting the Erd Tree Guardian or Avatar, not Guardian. I, I apologize. It's not really a hard fight, but be careful, it will clone itself after it gets half health. So just be aware of that. So it did get its clone out, but we killed it just in time. So for killing the Erd Tree Avatar, we get the Cerulean Crystal Tear and we get the Crimson Bubble Tear. Right over here, we're gonna activate that summoning pool. Up back on Torrent. And then we can see a grace right down there. We're going to activate it and then we're going to rest at it. Get rid of that marker there. And then we're going to head to our third marker. Hop up top here. Okay, he's down there. I'm not going to bother with him. Get rid of that marker. And then right here, we're going to have an invisible bridge. You want to make sure that you're dead center or else you're going to fall off. This is absolutely easier when you're playing online. If you're playing offline, this can be super dangerous. How you know you're walking on the right path is you see like the cloudy, misty look to the floor. This is where we're going to pull our rainbow stones out. About right here we should be turning. Yep. As you can see... The ground looks cloudy or misty, very faintly, but the snow kind of obscures our vision a little bit. This is the only part that I like to use the rainbow stones. I have fallen off this thing more times than I would like to admit. Now 
Then we can take the rainbow stones off. We don't need them anymore. And right here, make sure that you get rid of that message so that you can attack. You want to get rid of that marionette first because there's a second one right over here. And both of them freak out on us. We're going to go up the stairs and go up the elevator. Over here we have another marionette. Be really careful. And then right here we get our last legendary spell. The Founding Reign of Stars. You should get a trophy for that. If you didn't, you're going to have to come all the way over to Kaelid and kill Gale, the big old dragon that doesn't fight back, that we killed over at Fort, uh, what is it, Ferrath. And then you have to come over to the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion and buy Gale's Roar. So be sure to do that if you want this trophy. If you don't care about the trophy, don't worry about it. For now, we're going to venture down the tower here. And then right over here, we're going to pull out Torrent. Go ahead and pull out our bow. Shoot the balloons. We have one right here as well. Right over here we have the Everjail. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves. We're going to be fighting Vike again. So for killing Round Table Knight Vike, we get Vike's Dragon Bolt along with his armor set. And then let me grab my bearings here. Where are we at? Okay, there we are. We want to head east. And then right here is the spirit spring that we used earlier. Go ahead and fall down. Grab a couple of items here. Then we're going to head over to the church. Grab ourselves the Somber Miner's Bell Bearing 3 that will allow us to 
get an unlimited amount of somber fives and sixes. Grab the sacred tier, and then we're going to sit at this grace. We're going to upgrade our flask. And then we're going to talk to Melina again. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin, an epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring for the age of the Erd Tree. We're almost there. The flame of ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Let's go ahead and put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. The second one is going to be around right here. Third one's going to be over here. And then the fourth one will be right over here. And then lastly, our fifth one should be about there. We're going to come behind the church real quick. Grab ourselves an item. We can fall down and then start making our way to the first marker. Careful of the lobsters. Let's go ahead and put our flask on. Summon in our mimic. Drink a flask. And the dragon is right here. Careful of the frostbite. This dragon is actually pretty difficult, in my opinion. There we go. Killed the dragon. So for killing the dragon, like always, we get a dragon heart. 
and we also get a new draconic power. Let's go ahead and get rid of this marker over here. Then we're going to head over to the third marker. Grab a golden rune 11. And then right down over here. By this tree we have a invisible silver scarab. Want to wait right here. Ah, missed it. Sometimes these invisible silver scarabs can be annoying. If you have a big AoE attack, it, it does make it a whole lot easier. So for killing that scarab, we get the Ash of War Sapoku. A lot of people like to use that in PvP. Right here we have a cave. We're going to put two stone sword keys in the imp statue. We're going to rest at this grace for just a moment. Get all our stuff back and then put our shield on. Go ahead and activate that summoning pool. And then right over here, be careful not to fall down in that floor. We are going to come back and fall down in it, just not yet. First, we want to kill the snail over here that's summoning in these enemies. Gonna come down here, grab ourselves an arteria leaf, come through the tunnel, and then off to the left, have ourselves a golden rune tin, hero's rune, and a rune arc. Now we're gonna go backtrack and fall through the floor over there where I said uh, be careful. You want to fall down right about here. Run over here. Kill the snail. And then we're going to drop off. Kill another snail. Grab a golden rune 12 and some freezing grease. And then we're going to crouch. We're going to have two snails to kill over here. Don't even worry about the items. We'll get them in a little bit. After we kill the snails that is. Over here, grab the white reed armor set and a golden rune six. 
And then we are going to be fighting a boss. There's multiple bosses in this room. But they summon in one at a time. That was close. There's one boss down. Now we're going to have another god skin summon in. Now we have one more summon, which is just going to be the Spirit Caller Snail. Super easy. So for killing the bosses, we get the Gold Skin Swaddling Cloth and the Black Flame Ritual. Let's go ahead and go to our map. And what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to the Snow Valley Runes Overlook. Alrighty everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.